Hey everyone, happy Monday. It's Connor. Thank you so much for joining us for another Devo. And you should subscribe and get these Devos in your inbox every day so that you can start off in the book of John. It's worth it and it's beneficial. So today we're going to be in John chapter 7. And uh, we're going to be looking at this idea of the question, who is Jesus? That's the conversation that takes place in John 7. And then we're going to go over to 1 John and answer that question more in depth. So here's the conversation happening later in John chapter 7. It says this, starting in verse 40. When they heard these words, some of the people said, this really is the prophet. Others said, this is the Christ. But some said, is the Christ to come from Galilee? Has not, has not the scripture said that the Christ comes from the offspring of David and comes from Bethlehem, where uh, the village where David where David was. So there was a division among the people over him. Some of them wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. So let's now take this into what John, the same writer of the Gospel of John, likely, and then, of course, 1 John, he says this specifically about Jesus. So 1 John chapter 2. My little children, the, the people, the adults, really, uh, of the people he's discipling and who are connected to a church. I'm writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate. That's the first clue. We have an advocate with the Father. This is the first clue of who Jesus is. Jesus Christ, the righteous. He is the propitiation. Probably said that wrong, but big word, an important word. The propiti propitiation of for our sins not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. And by this, we know that we have come to know him. If we keep his commandments, whoever says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments, is a liar. And the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word in him, truly the love of God is perfected or complete. By this, we may know, cannot read today. So sorry, let me read that again. By this we may know that we are in him. Whoever says he abides in him ought to walk in the same way in which he walked. So what are we getting at? In the Gospel of John, John chapter 7, we read that people disagreed on who Jesus was, how he came into the world, what his function should be, what their expectations were of him. But at the end of the day, here's what John, the guy who spent time with Jesus for three years, intimately, closely, one of Jesus's closest friends, he says that Jesus is an advocate with the Father. His role and who he is is to forgive us of sin, to conquer death so that we can have a relationship with God. It's the gospel. Jesus is the one that bridges the gap between us and the Father. And the whole book of John just kind of brings us into, uh, gives us a more clear picture of who Jesus is and helps us follow him better, as First John is getting at. So who is Jesus? Well, people are going to disagree. Then people will disagree now. But Jesus is the guy, the person, an expression of God, God himself and human, who forgives us of sin and gives us life because he's been given authority by God to do so. And so hopefully this is helpful as you start your week Following Jesus is worth it because he's the truth and he's the one who brings us into a relationship with God and gives us eternity. Join us for more Devos this week. We'll see you next time.